Samsung will unveil the Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus, and Galaxy S23 Ultra on February 1 during the Galaxy Unpacked 2023 event. However, you don't have to wait until then to check out the specifications of the smartphones. The entire Galaxy S23 series spec sheet has been highlighted by a new leak. The South Korean firm's upcoming high-end smartphones are iterative upgrades, bringing improvements to performance, cameras, software, and battery life. First, let's talk about the vanilla variants. According to the report, the Galaxy S23 has a 6.1-inch Super AMOLED display, while the Galaxy S23 Plus has a 6.6-inch screen. Both phones have full HD Plus resolution, a 48-120Hz variable refresh rate, HDR10+, and Gorilla Glass Victus 2 protection. Both phones are 7.6mm thin and have similar dimensions, slightly wider, to their predecessors. On the front, Samsung has equipped them both with a brand new 12 megapixels f2.2 selfie camera that can record up to 4K 60fps HDR10 plus videos. The front camera most likely also features dual pixel autofocus. On the rear, the Galaxy S23 and the Galaxy S23 Plus have a 50 megapixels primary camera with OAS, a 12 megapixels ultra wide camera, and a 10 megapixels telephoto camera with 3 optical zoom. The rear camera can record up to 8K videos at 30fps and 4K videos at up to 60fps. Both smartphones run Android 13 based One UI 5.1 out of the box. Samsung's new phones will use the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor globally, paired with 8 gigs RAM and 128 slash 256 gigs internal storage. The Galaxy S23 Plus will also be available in a 512 gigs variant. The Galaxy S23 is powered by a 3900 mA battery and is capable of up to 25 watts fast wired charging. The Galaxy S23 Plus has a 4700 mA battery with up to 45 watts fast wired charging. Both devices will be available in four primary colors, black, cotton, green, and purple. These are the identical specs that we got to know earlier by Tipster, who have the best track records. Meanwhile, multiple reports have speculated the Galaxy S23 Ultra will only bring marginal changes over the Galaxy S22 Ultra, which has been talked about in-depth by Ice Universe. Its highlight, however, will be the new 200 megapixels ISOCELL HP2 sensor revealed recently. Twitter leaker Bilabilikun, who leaked the entire Galaxy S23 and Galaxy S23 Plus spec sheet, has now also done the same for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. The flagship smartphone will feature a 6.8-inch QHD Plus 3088x1440, a mold panel with a refresh rate of 120Hz. Unlike its more affordable siblings, its refresh rate can range between 1Hz and 120Hz. One should treat the claim with skepticism, as Samsung made similar claims about the Galaxy S22 and Galaxy S22 Plus display only to retract it later. A previous leak speculated the Galaxy S23 Ultra's peak brightness could hit 2000 nits, but it was subsequently debunked by another report, which adjusted that figure to 1750 nits, the same as its predecessor. The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra will offer quite a few memory or storage options, ranging between 8 to 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs to 1 terabyte of storage. All variants will be powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 SoT and a 5000 mAh battery that supports 45 watts wired and 10 watts wireless charging. Overall, this represents somewhat of a downgrade over the last-gen flagship as the battery capacity is the same and wireless charging wattage has been reduced from 15 watts. Coming to the cameras, the 200 megapixels ISOCELL HP2 sensor will be assisted by a 12 megapixels f/1.4 120-degree field of view, ultra-wide angle lens, a 10 megapixels telephoto lens f/2.4 3x optical zoom, optical image stabilization, and another 10 megapixels periscope telephoto lens f/4.9 10x optical zoom, optical image stabilization. Video recording chops max out at 8K 30fps. Interestingly, 4K recording caps out at 60fps despite the sensor being able to record at 120fps. At the front, the Galaxy S23 Ultra gets a 12 megapixels HDR10 plus capable camera. On paper, it looks like a downgrade compared to the 40 megapixels sensor used on its predecessors, and it'll be interesting to see what improvements it brings. So, what do you guys think about these new specifications for all the models of S23 lineup? Which one do you think suits you the most? Let us know it down in the comment section. And if you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to drop a like to the video. See you for the next time. Peace out.